I have a very strong opinion about fabric softener. And when it comes to the rinse cycle, I add something completely different. For the same reason, I'm not big on dryer sheets either. And I have a substitute for those as well. Stick around if you want to hear more. What is fabric softener? I looked up the main ingredient found in the most popular brand. You know the one that begins with the letter D and rhymes with Auni. Diethyl ester, diethyl ester dimethyl ammonium chloride. Say that five times fast. On the left is a charge group that binds very tightly to natural fibers, not so much to polyester. See those two squiggly lines on the right? Those are the lipid groups, in other words, fat. In fact, old-fashioned fabric softener was a mix of soap and different oils, such as tallow oil, olive oil, corn oil. Yes, with fabric softener, you are depositing a residue of fat onto your clothing and bedding. The marketing people aren't lying. Your fabric does indeed feel softer, and it does indeed protect fabric from damage and static electricity. But at what cost? The downsides are rather significant. That fatty residue blocks some key properties in your fabric. Along with breathability, fabric wicking and evaporation are keys to keeping you cool. Wicking allows moisture, such as sweat, to move from the inside to the outside of the fabric, taking your body heat with it. From there, the moisture can evaporate, keeping you even cooler. As you can imagine, fabric softener is terrible for workout wear. And why spend the extra money on premium fabrics such as linen, hemp, lyocell, or even cotton just to ruin it with fabric softener? In fact, if you read the care instructions on pretty much any bedding that I review, fabric softener is forbidden. If all that wasn't bad enough, regular use of fabric softener may make fabrics more flammable. Yeah. So you definitely don't want to use fabric softener on bedding, especially children's bedding. Fabric softener goes in the rinse cycle of your washing machine. Dryer sheets obviously go in the dryer. Dryer sheets aren't quite as bad, but they use very similar chemicals, which yes, leave a residue on your clothing. And if you use both fabric softener and dryer sheets, oh dear. What did I use instead? Good old fashioned white vinegar. Vinegar is 5% acetic acid. Many laundry detergents are alkaline, which is the opposite of an acid. Vinegar added to your rinse cycle will help wash away the last bits of your detergent. And no, your laundry won't smell like vinegar. Vinegar won't soften or protect like fabric softener, but if you're using high quality fabrics like linen, they will soften over time and wear very well. Instead of dryer sheets, I use these. Inexpensive, reusable, and available from your favorite online store. Affiliate link in the description below. They fluff up your laundry, which helps it dry faster. They absorb both moisture and heat, which helps the drying process further. Also, the wool roughens up your fabric a bit, softening it. If you like your laundry smelling fresh, you can add a little drop of essential oils or mist it with water or vinegar to prevent static electricity. And if you really want to avoid static electricity, don't over dry your laundry. What should you do if your well-meaning friend did your laundry and contaminated it with fabric softener? Or worse, you purchase something secondhand that has years of residue built up on it. Vinegar in the rinse cycle should help. Some detergents claim to remove the gunk. If you figured out a good way of removing the evil fabric softener, please comment below. Also let us know what didn't work.